Hey guys, this is Will. Um, I'm just going to do a little gear video on what my chest rig looks like. Um, so let's get started. First of all, this is a Condor Ops chest rig and tan, of course. I mean, it's not the best chest rig, but for $26.99, I think I got it for, it's done perfectly fine. As you can see, a lot of my shit is cramped together like a mofo. Um, I like that actually because I mean it's not that big of a chest rig So I need to have what I need on the field just to get me through everything As you can see I got this it's actually a ATS Scar or M14 mag pouch a triple shingle, but it holds M4 max just fine It has the, the little bungee retention for everything um, It holds it just fine I mean, they slide in great. They really never held my, I mean, they held my Scar H mags very well. They're such a bitch to get in. Like, you had to, like, fickle with it for so long just to get one in. Yeah, so it's an AT, ATS um, triple shingle in Coyote Brown. And on top of it, actually, I have a Pantech small radio pouch, which is housing my Motorola GP68 um, yeah I mean it's, I haven't really been able to use it I, I mean I've used it in one game but I left the scan button on which really made me mad so it didn't work very well but I have I got this new thing on Amazon it's like a I don't remember what it's called but basically it's a it's a little like surveillance ear earpiece and I think there's a mic here. I'm not sure if there is. It looks like there's a mic. But I have to manually push the the button right here for the GP68 to work. I'm going to eventually get probably like replica compact twos and a replica um, U94 push to talk for this from Evite just so I can have a little more, you know, like tactical comm setup. But this is fine for now. Um, your left, my right, um, next to the shingle and the mag pouch is this EMT pouch by Condor. Um, it doesn't house much. As you can see, there's a little Sharpie right here. Um, I have my dead rag because I don't like stock this thing with medical supplies because most I have needed was... You know those cleansing wipes and um, like a band-aid because I got shot in the nose from like two feet away and it fucked up my nose pretty well. So that's as much as I needed. So I just got you know probably band-aids. Um, I do think I have like gauze for whatever reason if someone like fucks up their elbow real bad and I got. Band-Aids, cleansing wipes, some Neosporin, some Benadryl ointment if you get stung by a bee or whatever. Um, your right, my left, would, when I'm wearing this, is a Pantech, um, Pantech admin pouch. Just a regular replica admin pouch from Eagle. It's in khaki, actually. I know, as you can tell, there, this is a different color because I got it specifically for a different color and as you can see I have my American flag my name my team's name Legion of Aries then fuck it we'll do a live patch I think that's a pretty funny patch I also got that immediate action patch with the tits and the it's rat tap and bang thing okay. so what I got in here is a, it's a just a, like little itty bitty switchblade um, it's pretty cool it's not a switchblade but it's, you know it's a Swiss it's a spring assisted blade just that tiny one, you, you never know. Um, got a, another Sharpie, a pencil, and then I got a write in the rain notebook for, you know, comms that, like, comm channels at ops and shit like that, you never know. But pretty much that is what I run. Um, I am going to get a HSS multicam plate carrier for my um, it's actually our team's SOP is multicam, 
So I'm working on that right now. Um, I just put a new barrel and bucking in my KWA. Um, here, hold up a second. Let me get the KWA. I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. I got, you know, the KWA KM4 wrist originally. Um, I really haven't done much to it. And the house and the grip is a, like an amp high torque motor. And then just the regular um, crane stock that KWAs came with. Um, got an Echo One CQB size, what they call it online. Man, it it's a AMP rec replica. Um, micro dot by aim point, and just some King Arms um, rib rail covers, and then a Tango Down. This is a real still Tango Down. Um, but this thing is vertical grip, dead on solid. And then just the regular, you know, A1, no, A2 front sight, and then flash, a flash hider. Uh, today I just got a modify bucking and put a 407 millimeter for me to I think if you go in. down, you can see it comes right up to the tip, which is really nice. So, you know, I run King Arms and the 120 round P mags. These are amazing. I'm gonna pick up some more. Too bad they're only they're fucking thirty dollars. Fucking ridiculous. Then I'm gonna show you my belt setup. I actually have two holsters for my M9. It's my KJW M9. Um, as you can see, it's in a Serpa holster, a tan Serpa holster with a belt mount. And this is, I mean, I like Serpas. I got the Molly adapter also that I'd put right here. For my um I put it right there for my holster but yeah it's on a it's pretty funny but it's on a Uncle Mike's tactical duty belt I actually really like the belt a lot it's very useful and and yesterday I picked see this little screw right here you tighten it to add retention and it holds my 9 mil my KJW 9 mil or M9 Max perfectly, just perfect. Just My power lock, um, SOG multi tool. I love this thing, but um, recommend it. Definitely worth the money. Never failed me in any situation I need it. But as you can see, you just put it inside there. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I don't run a dump patch since I only run four mags when I play. There's no reason to run a run a dump patch unless you're running a big op, which I mean our team does play big ops, but um, yeah, for this setup I'm not going to run a dump patch, don't need to, just extra shit that gets in your way, but I also, when I don't want to run the Serpa, as you can see I'm left handed, but um, I have a Safari Land droplet holster and foliage, it's, it looks more like an OD, but that's what they're called, is foliage. And I picked this up at a surplus for 50 bucks, and it's I think it was a pretty good deal. Um, it holds an M9, standard M9, no rails, and I mean it works okay. I mean I don't like drop legs, but it works for the times that I've used them in games. And pretty much that is what my loadout consists of. Sorry for the clutterness of my table. I just wanted to make a quick video. So other than that, thanks for watching, guys.